My name is Jose Luis Garcia Perez. I'm a group leader within the Department of Genomic Medicine at the Research Institute Genia. In my lab, we study how uh, repeated DNA present in the human genome, which is quite prevalent, it's almost all, half of our genome is actually made of uh, repeated DNA, how they impact human health. Specifically, we study a part of the repeated DNA of our genome that is able to move from one location to another within the genome. These are called uh, mobile DNA and include retrotransposon and transposon. And specifically in the lab, we study three main questions. One is like which cell type of the human body do this type of mobile DNA move, how they impact the genome or once they have a new session, and third, how the genome act to regulate the mobilization of these sequences. Uh, by doing this research, we use a different type of model, including a stem cell, quite a few stem cells, because it's the natural place where these sequences are, are expressed. And more recently, we have uh, developed an in vivo system using the zebra fish as a model. And this is quite important for us because it allows us now to generate a living organism that may have a new transposable element in session, and we can now study what's the effect in vivo of this particular in session. And in that research, we have a main focus in understanding what's the effect or the role of mobilization of repeated DNA in the brain, in this case of the, of the model system zebrafish. Also, we studied other pathological situations in humans, like cancer, because we know that during the cancer progression, there is deregulation of the mobility of this sequence, and we know that they may have an impact in the progression of the tumor. So our goal is to better understand what type of tumor when and where the mobilization of these sequences happen with the ultimate goal to develop new uh, therapeutic strategies for this patient. And finally, we also have an interest in particular disease conditions like ataxia telangiectasia, Dijord syndrome, and Fanconi anemia, because in these particular diseases, we know that the, the mobilization of these type of sequences is deregulated. And our goal is to be able to understand what type of the symptoms are uh, generated by the mobility of these sequences. In our studies, we collaborate with a number of researchers located elsewhere in the world, and we are always open to collaborate with other researchers that may have a similar interest as the one that is in, in my lab, and we can collaborate with non-academic institutions or companies that would like to fund our research.